Hey, we are back with another build. We are looking at the increasingly popular Rivers of Blood Arcane build. So the arcane scaling weapons are now fixed in patch 1.03 because before the scaling wasn't actually increasing the damage at all. So now in adding points into arcane is increasing the damage of these weapons. The best starting class for this build is the bandit. The other important thing you need to know is you need to get this weapon before you kill the fire giant in the main storyline. Otherwise, you cannot get this weapon. So make sure you pick it up before you kill Fire Giant. Now, I did a lot of testing with this build to see what actually increases the weapon art damage, as I've seen other builds dual wielding with Rivers of Blood. But I can tell you, dual wielding or even two handing the weapon makes no difference to the weapon art attack. The only thing that can permanently increase the weapon art damage is upgrading your weapon with the smithing stones at the blacksmith. Using Ashes of War like Sepako and dual wielding was a broken mechanic and has been fixed in patch 1.03, so it no longer grants any benefit to any other weapons. So I can tell you that this, you do not need it. We are just going to be wielding the rivers of blood because we don't need the extra weight and it provides no extra benefit unless you're actually using the dual wielding stance which we are not going to be doing because we're going to be using the Rivers of Blood weapon art. So for this build, you're obviously going to need the Rivers of Blood plus 10. For the armor, I highly recommend getting the White Mask as it slightly raises attack power when there is blood loss nearby. This is a bleed build, so make sure you are putting everything into bleed that you can. As for the talismans, I would say the two that you want to be getting are this one and this one because it is quite heavy on FP consumption, this skill. Uh, so you want to try and get that one. You want to try and increase attack power. There's going to be a lot of bleeding going on, so that is going to be a great one for you. And then again, these two are going to be interchangeable, so you can switch these out for whatever you want. I just like them, but when you're getting into the higher levels, you might want to swap this out and just put more points into uh, mind, vigor, endurance, that kind of thing. And then this just increases your attack power, which is nice. Another very good addition to this build would be the Rotten Winged Sword Insignia Talisman which just increases damage again. So worth getting, but it's more for end game builds. So I've left it out. Something else that you could go with as well is the flame grant me strength, but you need 15 faith to be able to use that, which will also increase the damage of this weapon. So with the actual stats, we have gone with a joint build of arcane and dexterity because this weapon scales with arc and dex. The damage is only 1447 for dex at 80 and the damage for arc at 80 was 1453 and then for having them both at 60 you get 1470. Now for the fun part, the damage of this weapon. Look how this weapon can just cut into your enemies and slice them apart. This weapon uses bleed to cut through and destroy enemies health. The more attacks you get in the better so if you can you need to keep up the pressure as that will increase your damage as well. So try and be aggressive with this playstyle. The range of this weapon isn't actually that bad either, and you can attack multiple enemies which is always nice. I am going to mention that some bosses are immune to bleed, so that will make them slightly harder and you have to do more damage against those bosses. This includes the last boss, that's why I've not included him in this video here. This next attack coming up will really show you the range of this attack, so just keep watching. Here. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, I hope this helped and I hope some of you try this build out and let me know how it is below. Thanks for watching guys, see ya. If you want to see how it fares against shields, check this out.